Hey beauties, it's Andrew Velasquez Star and my gorgeous model Abigail. Say hello. Hi. As you can see, she's all dolled up and ready for her hot date night. So what if you only had 15 minutes to do this? Let's walk you through all those steps right now. All right guys, once you have established your sections and parted your hair from ear to ear, you're gonna start with the back to apply your extensions. Take a rat tail comb and add another section from ear to ear. So this is the majority of the hair that we're gonna work on. Go ahead and put the hair away that you're not gonna use and start with some dry shampoo right at the root. You're also gonna take your rat tail comb and add some texture to your scalp by teasing it. After you tease the hair, you add some hairspray and you're ready for extension number one. So you're gonna begin with the clips that have four and you're just gonna unclip those four clips to open up the teeth and start right above the ear. Take your brush and just kind of comb through by holding at the scalp. All right, now you're ready to curl your first section. The idea is to blend your natural hair in with the extension. Adding extensions is a great way to add life, texture, volume, and even experiment with some of the color. All right, we are on to our final section, right on top of the crown. Let's brush out those little frizzies and flyaways. All right guys, we're moving on to the two front sections, which are our last ones. And we're gonna go ahead and clip away the hair that we're not using. And we're gonna add the extensions that have two clips. Begin with a concealer to correct and detail underneath the eyes and any redness. Maybe you have a little blemish that is definitely not a date night look. Uh, but the complexion is a simple step of correcting with concealer and powder. That's it. For an express version and you only have 15 minutes to get ready, you don't have to do like a full on face of foundation. Next is blush. For eyes, we're keeping it simple and using a gold cream eyeshadow base. Since Abigail's eyebrows are nice and full and pretty defined, I'm just using a clear eyebrow gel. We're also gonna add some subtle highlights right above the cheekbone, blending into her eye. While we curl Abigail's lashes, we're also gonna add a dark adhesive to the band, and I'm using a wispy, feathery false lash. While the top lashes start to dry, we're gonna go ahead and do mascara on the lower lashes. We are going bold for the lips. So we're doing a classic matte red lipstick by using two lip liners. One is a darker shade of red and one is a warmer shade. So the two together are gonna to be a perfect combination. And I do slightly extend the top lip because who doesn't love a fuller lip? And that's usually the smaller lip. The bottom lip tends to be fuller, so we'll keep that within the natural lip line. And next is the brighter more blue undertone red. This is what really makes it pop. Anytime you add warm and cool colors together, the saturation level goes up. Lastly is a mattifying lip cream top coat. And this is gonna go over everything. I recommend using a brush that has a flat straight edge so you can get some clean, precise edges. 